Hello everyone and welcome to Adam Sharp YouTube channel and this video is brought to you by my brand new course Superbase for iOS developers, the complete bootcamp. Now currently I am working on this course but I am regularly publishing new updated sections for the course. You can see that you can pre-order the course for just $89 and the price will go up to 149 once the course is published. Let's check out some of the contents of the course. You can see that I'm going to show you how to get started with the budgets application using Superbase. You're going to learn about the MV pattern, how you can convert from simple app to MV pattern app. And then we're going to talk about the relationships. But I also have some other sections coming up like authentication, storage, edge functions, and also real-time API. So all of this will be discussed. All of this will be covered in the future weeks. So check out the course. The link to the course is right there in the YouTube description. And again, you can get the course for $89 or you can just subscribe and get access to all the courses for $25 a month. Thank you so much. Now let's go back to the video. So now let's go ahead and see that how we can introduce environment value and we will be able to access the Superbase client right from the environment values. So let me show you what we're trying to build so you have a little bit more idea. Let's remove that and let's go to the content view. In the content view, what if we are able to do something like this? Superbase client private var super base client. What if we are able to do something like this? Because this is exactly what we're trying to accomplish, that we can access the super base client from the environment values. Now, right now it's obviously telling us that it's not available, but we can make it happen. Let me go ahead and create a brand new folder and I can simply call this environment values. This is where we will store all our custom environment values. Next, I can add a new surf file. We'll call it super base, and then we can call it environment key. Now, keep in mind that for this particular project, I will be using this approach, but I will also show you a little bit of a different approach in which we will create a data store that will manage the entire state of the application. But just to get started, maybe you will like this approach also. So I'll call it Superbase Environment Key. I'll create it. Next, I'll import a couple of different things. I'll import Surf UI and I'll import Superbase. And now I can go ahead and create Superbase Environment Key. This will be an environment key. This is how you create the environment. And since we are trying to conform to environment key, we need to implement the default value. The default value will be the super base client because that is what we are going to be returning. Over here, we can just say super base client and pass in the super base URL and also the super base key, but maybe we can make it a little bit more nicer. Instead of doing this, what if we are able to do something like this? This is looking much nicer, right? I mean, we're just saying development and it's going to put the default value for Superbase client as the development Superbase client. So all the URLs and everything will be for the development. In order for this to work, I can go ahead and add an extension. So I'll call it extensions. And I will add an extension on the Superbase client itself. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll call it Superbase, Superbase client plus extensions. Great. First, I'll have to import Superbase. Next, I can create an extension, extension on the Superbase client. And from here, we can create some properties. Like I can create a property called 
development, which is going to return me Superbase client. And I can return something over here, okay? Now, what thing I'm going to return? Well, actually, that was the same thing we had over here. We deleted it, so let's get it back. There we go. So this is something that I can return, all of this part. Let's go over here and return it. Great, let's go ahead and build it. Now you may have different settings for development, live, test, Q&A, whatever, but obviously for those cases, you will have mostly like different things over here, different maybe keys, maybe different environment you can set up. So all of those things you can set up with Superbase Client. But right now, we're just using our, you know, the one that's on the Superbase. It might be production, but we're just using it as development, all right? All right, so let's go back over here. Now we can say development and you can see it looks nicer over here. It says development. The next thing we need to include are the, the environment values. So we're going to make sure that we extend the environment values and we add the Superbase client. Another thing to note here is how I don't particularly like that we're adding these strings over here. Um, so we need to figure out something in the end that maybe we can put these strings and these values into some sort of an ENV file, like an environment file, all right? But right now, hey, we're just getting started. Let's make it things simpler rather than complicated. Let's go back and it looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and build it. Great. Now I can go back to my content view. And in the preview, since now I do have the environment value, I can say environment key path, Superbase client, and we can set it as development. So this means that since I'm now injecting the environment value to the content view, I should be able to grab it in my view itself. And there we go. Now if I build it, it should build successfully. So this is a different kind of approach. I think it's very similar to if you have done any work with um, the core data, you can, in core data, you can use manage object context and get access to that. In the Swift data, you can call, I believe it is called the model context, model context, and you will be able to access the model context. So we use a similar approach and we're just exposing the surf, uh, super base client over here, all right? Now in the next lectures, we will be talking about how we can use the super base client to fetch all the information from our store over here. You can see that we have our database. Let's see over here, we will have to probably go to the database. There we go. And Let's try to see the view table because we added a couple of different budgets, right? The groceries and vacation. So we will be able to see, we will be able to fetch these and then display it on the screen. So that is something we'll cover in the next lecture.